Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Let's see where everybody is. <laughs> How are you? Happy Wednesday. Happy winter solstice. My name is Louisa Havers and I help entrepreneurs and coaches to break through the upper limits in life. I'm so excited that we get to spend this time together. Do let me know if you are here live with me. Oh, of course, if you're catching the replay, then use hashtag replay crew. And then I can circle back and say, say hello. Let me know where you are tuning in from, which part of the world that you are tuning in from. That would be wonderful to connect with you. I'm just going to check that this is all working. So if you can, let me know that you are there. Because it's just looking a little bit odd, my end. There we go. I can see you all now. <laughs> Love technology. Alrighty. How are all the festive preparations going? Are you ready? Are you building a good relationship with your delivery driver? It's delivering all the packages. Are you celebrating Christmas? Are you celebrating Hanukkah? Are you celebrating something else? What festivities are you celebrating? I'd love to know because I know that not everybody celebrates Christmas. I'm just talking about it because I celebrate it. And I'd love to know what are you up to? I'm off to see my sister. We're all getting together as a family for the first time since 2019. We were supposed to do it last year and then I went and got COVID. <laughs> so we couldn't join in all the fun. And this year I forgot to order my vegan roast. <laughs> so I'll just come up with something else. I'd love to know what your traditions are as well, because I know every family has their own traditions. One of our things that we look forward to each year is our dad's bread sauce. Now it is completely legendary. No one sadly has been able to quite replicate it like he made it since he died. So each year we, we have a go, <laughs> remembering him going, ah, oh, it's just not quite like dad's bread sauce. I do love bread sauce. Um, does anyone else have an addiction for bread sauce like me? <laughs> of course, now I make vegan bread sauce, which I love. Uh, other members of my family say it tastes disgusting in comparison to dairy bread sauce. Um, but yeah, I always think that everyone has like with these beautiful meals that we have where we gather together with families, you have your kind of favourite thing and then you have your thing that's just like, Ooh. I love Brussels sprouts. I hate Christmas pudding. <laughs> Anyone else like me? <laughs> or are you like just have to have your Christmas pudding if you eat Christmas pudding? Anyway, as everyone is jumping on, let's just take a, a moment to take a nice couple of breaths, breathing in grace and love, breathing out all of the energy that no longer serves. Just being able to leave the festive to-do list at the, at the door, as it were, and being able to take a moment just to consider what's your intention for today? What's your intention for being here live with us together? And to take a moment to say, what's your intention for 2023? Because it's winter solstice today. So what's, what intentions are you creating for your next, next 90 days? Today is a great day to decide. How are you up leveling for 2023? What is the feeling that you want to have in 2023? Pop them in the comments. I would love to see what's the feeling that you're creating overall for 2023. Mine is grace. To have ease, flow, to have grace, a, a blessing on our work that we're doing, the impact that we're creating in the world. Grace comes from the Latin thankful to being grateful, grateful for all that we have all that we have now and all of the grace that is to come for next year. It's a beautiful day. So once you've got your intention in mind, your energy and your attention can be on your intention. And today we can dive into, I wanted to talk about the secret to holding your up level. 
And just so we're all on the same page, what I mean by an up level. So an up level is that phase following the breakthrough where you embody your new beliefs, hold that higher energetic state. So this is an embodied state. It feels light, expansive, freer. And there is a slight illusion. Often people will think that all the challenges will go away and they'll never experience them again once they've up leveled. That is a complete myth. So if you have kind of been secretly hoping that, then it's not your fault because there's so much marketing out there perpetuating this illusion and it's just imprinting onto our subconscious minds all the time. There is a real art to this. So the, I'm going to reveal the secret to holding you up level. And for me, there are there are four areas that I work on for myself and when I'm working with clients. So one is around the embodied identity, so holding the consciousness of your future self. So the version of you that's already living the reality that you're creating, your personal boundaries, so holding space for yourself, holding space for your business, holding space, you know, having boundaries for your, for your clients, honouring those, forgiveness, forgiveness for yourself, for any business decisions that haven't yet panned out as you'd like them to, or any self-judgments that you're holding, or anywhere that others may who haven't been in integrity with you. And this can be, of course, in business, but also in your personal life as well. And then taking energetic responsibility because you can only truly release what you take full energetic responsibility for, including your current reality as a, as, as a result of an intention, as a result of limiting beliefs, as a result of trapped emotions. Does that make sense? And when you start to up level, what happens is you'll experience new opportunities, invitations to do different things that you hadn't done before, being able to speak at bigger summits, bigger events, being more visible, collaborating with more established business owners. And you get the opportunity to, to embody that, of course. And you may well have noticed that along your journey, like, oh, my goodness, I've shifted because I've suddenly been invited in to do this. And this all comes from our vibration and how we're showing up for ourselves, how we're holding ourselves in our relationships, how we're taking care of our business consciousness, how we take care of money, how we circulate money, how we take care of ourselves. And if you have the breakthrough and the up level you're accepting the opportunity to to hold it and you have the opportunity to feel that expansion and of course it can feel really stretchy you know when you're following your beliefs you're taking action on it you're creating the energy of motion with your actions and then of course that attracts more things to you and momentum starts to build and this is where you get the opportunity to step forward and to continue with that exp expansion. So often people can start to contract back. And the thing is that up levels aren't actually a guaranteed permanent level in our lives in the sense of because our identity, if we're holding a different identity, we'll just contract back to that uh, that identity that's embodied. We we have somatic default set points. So we've of these as neural pathways acting as internal set points that create the glass ceilings in life and biolog biologically our systems are going to work really hard to maintain these set points there's a whole chemical reaction going on in your body and if I think about our experiences we what we've been up to as we you know we've grown as a company as I grow and evolve into my next level of leadership and wealth consciousness there have been so many points along the way where my body my somatic default points have started to pull me back away from the ease because the old version has felt more familiar has felt safer this is why we've got to work on ourselves continue continuously does that does that make sense let me know if that if that resonates let me know if you are where you were tuning in from i can see you there hi victoria so do say hello and I can say hello back and of course if you're catching replay let me know and I will circle back. I was just reflecting as I look back over our year and the growth that we've had and of course the journey of our up leveling. We, we So just in terms of what's going on in our company we typically work with between about 35 to 50 clients a month in all of our different programs, you know, and including our one-to-one. -one. So our programs are intimate. So we have a real relationship with each other. I get to know what's going on for you. I get to know what's going on in your world um, and get to know you really well. We have um, about 10 private clients at the moment. We've got um, around six beautiful souls in IPC. 
We've got around 11 currently in the wealth portal. Of course, this changes as people graduate and other people join. And in the Helix method, we have around 12 in the current live program at the moment as well. And I love this because this isn't about having hundreds and hundreds of people on group calls where you don't even know who your clients are or what's going on for them. And, and they don't really have a sense of or having a true relationship with you. And so for me, it's really important to have a real relationship with my clients. And I know my clients love that. They love being held, knowing that it's they're in a safe space to share what is bubbling up for them as they're breaking through and going through to their next up level. I'll help them bust through the stickiness that that comes comes through. You know, and I know my clients trust me and I know that I'm always learning and growing and improving what I offer. And so, of course, as I grow, they benefit from all the investments that I've made in myself and my growth as well. And when you're working with me, I will call you out on your inner stuff. You know, if you aren't showing up for yourself, I'll lean in <laughs> and um, call you out on the, 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 the resi resistance and the fear that is bubbling up because it will bubble up. It's completely natural to bubble up um, as you're growing and expanding. That's the beauty of being in a container for a longer period of time because the container will hold you as the resistance plays out so that you can have that breakthrough. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love doing. Excuse me, I've just got a letter. I think it's Robin knocking at the door. Yes, hello, welcome. I'm just coming. <laughs> if you want detailed accountability and note taking, then that is not going to happen with me. <laughs> I'm, 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 uh, I, I'm not that kind of coach. But I expect my clients to lead themselves to take their own notes. So I'm not going to be doing that kind of thing. And if you say that you're doing something, you know, I'm expecting you to do this because I'm here for this, here for the journey. And, you know, it, it does drive me bananas if people are just consistently not taking action on what they say that they will do. Of course, I'm going to be there to kind of go, hang on, what's going on? Is this resistance playing out? Is this your somatic default set points that are pulling you back? Or is this just, um, you know, out of alignment? You're trying to kind of implement a strategy that's out of alignment. So I'll go there and uh, help you move through that resistance and that stickiness so that we can get you really creating in alignment in, in alignment with your energetic blueprint so that you're working with your unique flow does that make sense Being, implementing strategies if we're doing business coaching that are in alignment with who you be so that you can have the results that you want in an aligned way and i know that my clients love the energetic shifts that they make when they're on their up leveling and and having the results and the success in their business having their their up level and you know just reflecting back on this year i mean there've been so many and if you've been in our programs i'd love to know what's been the biggest shift for you this year what's been a sign that you've up leveled let me know in the comments so that we can celebrate you so whether it's we've had clients who've had their first 100k months clients finally setting up their charity having their highest months, increasing their self-confidence, their self-trust so that they can step into that next level, that next evolution within their business. Because the business is, your business evolves, of course, along the way. You know, you will expand your offerings. And of course, it depends what where you're at in business, whether you, you know, earlier on in your journey, of course, you're, you're, you're expanding beyond the multi-six figure mark and going up to that seven figure range. I'm, I'm, I love being there for my clients, being there for all the successes and the celebrations and being there for all the poopy stuff that happens so that, you know, I can hold you and help you to move through the life stuff that inevitably will bubble up along the way and being able to support you as you develop that re resilience and as you're up leveling and seeing that growth in your business and so being able to have not only the energetics around it, but the strategy and the systems in place that are going to hold you. So having that structure, the boundaries and being able to, I mean, in our coaching programs in the, in the IPC, I have a lot of how to do things so that, you know, of course you want to make it your own as well, but being able to go, hang on, here, here's the template. This is how um, we, we can do this. And then being able to provide people with copy, copy review. So it's like, this doesn't really sound like your voice. You might want to change this this here um maybe say this in in this way so that you're speaking from a more empowered place so your own resistance isn't kind of 
uh, spewing out into your copywriting um, and uh, that's not going to be able to help um, your clients to be able to really realize how magical you are and the results you can get for them so I love being able to offer all of that for my clients and to be able to hold that hold that space as they're going on their own up leveling up leveling journey and as I was thinking about how we've up leveled and the results that we've had for ourselves and for where we've contributed to our clients it's because I'm doing my own inner work on myself as I'm leading our company I've completely changed my identity I'm always working on my own self-worth and and valuing myself and how I lead myself I think that as as we're growing our companies we always are every aspect of our consciousness needs to be evolved so that we are fully embodied in our identity and for me working in the Akashic Records has just been a complete game changer for me which is why I, I love working in the Akashic Records for my clients. My programs have all been born out of the, the, you know, the work that I've done in the records. So it's been completely transformational and a key part of my own up-leveling when I, you know, when I look back. And I was thinking about this, there's so many different versions of me along my journey. And I know many of you have been with me since, um, for the last six years, since I've been in the online space so you've been part of that you'll have seen my evolution as well and uh, I've seen yours too as we've been going on this journey so it's been incredible and as I was looking back you know since 2016 we've generated as a company over a million dollars so that's over the last six years so we've helped a lot of people and we've been consistently doing multiple six figures a year profitably and this year we've got more solid foundations in place for our business growth, sustainability and profitability, completely revamped our team structure so that our team are positioned for, for the growth. Because of course, as your business grows, you may have team members that are not in alignment with that next stage of growth. They haven't got the skill set for the role that would, the role's changed and that they're not necessarily meant to be that next person that slots into that new role that comes in. And so it's really key to, to be able to have the right team on board so that you know you can grow in alignment and to, in alignment with your values as well you know for me i'm not i'm not building a get rich quick scheme you know which i think there are so many illusions of that perpetuated by um, the marketing in the online space you know for me building a business is about building it in alignment with who i am that's just key for up leveling and holding the up level and so I want for me and for my clients as well, the work that I'm doing to be in alignment with my values. My values, you know, I'd love to hear what are your values for your business and how are you creating your business in alignment with your values? So my values, some of my values are integrity, diversity, inclusion, having an aligned community, safe community where everyone can um, contribute, trust, having balance, harmony, peace, grace just to name but a few does this resonate let me know let me know what resonates and we'd love to know how how is your business in alignment with your values and or maybe you've identified that something needs tweaking because it was in alignment with your values and then as you've grown and expanded then something's gone wonky and so there needs to be um you know a redesign a new strategy in place so that you can be building in alignment with your energetic your energetic blueprint so that you can have that fulfillment that you want in life you know for me Having fulfillment is having that balance across all the, all the areas of life, having that alignment across all areas of life and being able to feel fully self-expressed. There's no sacrifice, no trade-off in, in the different areas. So, you know, one of the, the gifts is I'm able to look after my mum when she needs me to be able to take her to all her millions of appointments. It seems she seems to be having at the moment, <laughs> um, you know, and I really want to be able to do that for her, to be able to, to be there. And to be able to be fully present with my sons, to be fully present and to show up as a clear channel for my clients, to be able to have fun, of course, to be able to go for walks where I live, you know, to have have life. We want to have more life. So as I was uh, reflecting on for 2023, I want to have more holidays in 2023. And Egypt and Greece are, are calling me. And so I can't wait. I've been having chats in, in, in Messenger with um Colleagues who've been going to going to um, Egypt and Greece. So I'd love to know: Have you been to Egypt? <laughs> have you been to Greece? If you went to Egypt, where did you go? Where would you recommend? 
um because I cannot wait to get to to go there and um and so when I look back there's been so many identities that I've held along my journey so many different versions of myself that have contributed to each phase of my up leveling does that make sense and for those of you that are getting to know me my background is I used to be a senior manager in the public sector which meant I led high profile service developments my role interface with the public got to work with the politicians different agencies uh, working with the police very closely and I was developing businesses I worked with NHS very closely as well at different points along my along my journey and leading on business planning for over a thousand people and one of the other things that I I did as I was reflecting on this was I was trained as a lean practitioner which meant I went across all the services across the whole of um uh, the, the county council working with other lean practitioners to look at how services were structured so that we could cut out any part of the service that actually wasn't needed and be able to operate it in an efficient way and that has stand, stand, stood me in good um, standing for creating my own business and of course my clients as well because I bring all of that expertise so we don't want to be creating complex um, businesses and adding costs to our systems as as we grow we want to be able to grow our businesses in a lean way in a way that keeps the profitability within the business so that was a huge part of my my growth and my own identity shift within the organization when I look back suddenly being seen as a lean practitioner coming in <laughs> to to um, have meetings with managers who were operating their own you know in a, in a silo operating their businesses and supporting that manager with being able to take a look at their business without getting attached to the systems that they'd set up and without making them feel like they were wrong because of course they'd implemented things in the in the best way possible at that moment in time and then being able to kind of take that bird's eye view looking at what was created and going well actually that isn't working in the way that you want it to work now it might have worked at the beginning but things evolve over time and uh, if we don't take that bird's eye view you can kind of create all these sort of plasters that stick on um you know over problems rather than actually going right let's just look at this create a whole new way of doing this and that's going to save everybody a load of time um and keep everybody in alignment uh, moving forward and and so all of that has been part of part of my journey and what I bring to the table now um and being able to restructure services so that people were having managers were having uh, alignment with their budgets and improve, budgets improving services so that the customer quality of care and the service was better and better um, and so that you know when um, the council was implementing their business plans that managers and stakeholders knew that they were in alignment with targets so you had people that the customers who were you know we used to call them service users in in, in that field you had the balance of those stakeholders of the customers and the politicians being happy and often they had different requirements <laughs> and so for me when I look back it's been my attitude and continually developing myself and my perseverance being in, in integrity with how I operate trans being transparent as I've navigated those complex relationships um, within within that senior ma management role being able to do what it takes and requiring more of myself, bringing all of that into how I show up as a, an entrepreneur and as a coach and betting on myself. That has all contributed to each of the up levels that I'm holding, I've held along, the, along this journey so far and my next one that I'm in the current process of creating. Does that make sense? And I have made so many mistakes along the way and of course, these mistakes create loads of opportunity for learning, areas for development, for growth. And for me, I think, you know, being an entrepreneur is around being curious, trying new things, finding finding solutions to problems, being open to trying new things and um, recognizing that, you know, growth will come along the way. And and that's where, you know, when you're mentoring people that are uh, wanting to have the, the, the level of success that you have in your business, that's where they get to benefit from your mistakes because you're like, yeah, we tried this, didn't work. Um, that was because it was in alignment. 
out of alignment with where we were at in terms of the business growth at that moment in time. Things have changed in the market. It might be something to try now, or this is our learning, you know, and having that um, CEO to CEO conversation so people can make an informed decision around what might be in their best interest at that moment in time in business. I know for me, really early on in business, we were really encouraged by a coach that um, I worked with at that at that time to invest huge chunks of money um, into Facebook ads. And it really wasn't in alignment with where our businesses were at right now. And despite my intuition telling me, "Mm -mm," I was listening to her um, and as were so many others. And then the whole kind of Facebook, um, Facebook gate changed how they were doing, um, being able to, how you're able to target your ideal audience. And so the quality of people's results on Facebook ads went down and costs went up and it had a huge impact on 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 everybody within within their businesses and for me I know whenever I've listened to my conscious mind instead of my higher self it's created contractions in the business it's created contractions in the results that we've had in the business and um and of course then that has a whole whole knock on a uh, knock on effect which is why I am committed to helping other people to really develop that relationship with their higher self to awaken their intuition so that they can create co-create with the universe and to really allow things to be so much easier because when we do listen to our higher self and to allow our higher self to create things are so different it really allows the up level to happen so much more more easily um let me know if that if that resonates. And I know many of you have been um, to some of our free classes that we've offered throughout this year, where you'll have experienced some of the techniques that I use to, to help you help you do this. So I'd love to know, have you been to any of our free masterclasses this year? Let me know if you've, you know, came to one, came to two, how many you came to. It would be great to, to celebrate with you. Thank you for, for being in our community. It's been amazing, you know, being in this online space for, as I said, it's over over six years now, seeing the market shifts. And I've seen how timeless business principles just transcend the noise. And it's just so key to be able to look through your business growth with that, with that filter. You know, making sure that you've got the right help at the right time, the right team members at the right time. And, you know, knowing that sometimes you may have to make difficult decisions, letting team members go that perhaps that, you know, you thought they were aligned or they were aligned when they came in, then they weren't aligned or they came in saying that they could do X, Y and Z. And then you've realized quite quickly that, nope, they can't. <laughs> and then being able to move them on and feeling confident to have those conversations and, and to do that so that you've got, you know, you've got the right support in the right place. Um, and so, you know, I've seen all of that. And I've had masses of experience of that within um, social services as well. And of course, whilst I've been in the entrepreneurial space, I've got help from my own coaches that I've been working with over the last four years. I'm in a long term relationship with them. It's had a huge impact to be able to to go deep um, within those relationships to to really be able to have that. Depth and for them to really know your business really well, I think it's just been transformational that um, because of all of that, my life's hugely changed with having more freedom in the time. And, you know, time is, is oh, such a such a precious resource. And being able to have more freedom in that time has just been such a gift. And also to be able to, you know, what I choose to spend my money on and being able to spend to, to see my sons more and my and my mum. Just just hugely, hugely important important. So I feel so grateful every day for for the results and for being able to see what I can do continually to improve and do things better because I really want to grow and to improve the experience for our clients as they come on their journey with us to to our to their up level so this is what we've been up to on our journey on our up leveling process so far and of course we'll continue to grow as we up level to that next uh, the next version of our company We've got lots of client stories on our website where you can go and check out people's experiences as well. So do do dive into that. And I, as I was thinking about this, the only real challenge that we've had with previous clients is where clients have projected their stuff onto me and not realized and um, not been open to exploring it. When when clients are open to exploring it, it's been amazing because at that the next level is on the other side of that. 
and I am here for those difficult conversations. Not everyone is open to it, you know, and, and of course, at that moment in time, as you approach it with them, they may just shut you down, but their awareness will come later and they may well be like, they'll remember the, 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 the embryo of the conversation that we had. And I think this is absolutely key. If you're an entrepreneur, being aware of your transference, your own, your, your, how your clients and customers will transfer onto you and your own counter transference is key for, for your growth, for your clients growth, for your business growth, so that you can make sure you aren't projecting your stuff onto your client. That's why it's so key for coaches to be doing their own inner work so that they are in integrity with how they're showing up and are not projecting their stuff onto their, onto their clients. And this is something that I teach in our certification programs is something that has been a core part of how I work. Um, you know, I've got a background in a psychology degree, postgraduate in counselling. This is this is the stuff that you know really is important to understand. And part of that being aware of the the drama triangle and how this may bubble up for in your business. It might bubble up. It often bubbles up in people's relationship with money. It may bubble up in your relationship with clients, team members, partners. And most of the time, people don't realise it. You might not even realize it, and but most people's lives will revolve around it in some way, or they'll have people trying to play it out on them. And this is the thing: if you build your business from a place within the drama triangle, it creates absolute chaos and push pull energy within the dynamics within your business. And um, if you aren't familiar with the drama triangle, it's you know from back in the nineteen sixties, and it basically involves three roles that you play at any moment in time you've got the victim the persecutor the rescuer and um you can step into any one of those roles at any moment in time and you know typically we have our favorite role to play <laughs> um you know i know that when uh, i'm a recovering rescuer and so whenever you know that's the the the, the pattern that I will have to look at to make sure that I'm not playing that. And if I recognize that is then okay, because if you are one of those on the, on the triangle, you will be one of the others and certainly other people will be projecting that, projecting that onto you. So it's being able to have all this psychological understanding about what is going on um, energetically and psychologically as you're, as you're growing your business so that you're not, recreating family drama in your business so that's going to have you know massive energy leaks for for for, for people um, not only for their clients but also um for yourself your own sanity for you know risk creating a risk of burnout and and, and uh holding you back from that ultimate you know that next up level and for me you know when i see this showing up i will speak to it for my clients i'll invite them to see you know where are they creating the drama in their business what relationship is this reminding them of where else is this showing up in their lives? And I'm so grateful because my clients are open to having these kinds of con um, conversations because it really opens up their consciousness so that they can, they know that the breakthrough is on the other side so that we can create that aligned success in business, have the peace, have the balance, have the harmony, have the happiness, have the, have the profit in, in the business, you can have it all. So that's... Uh, I'd love to know if you've recognized that the drama triangle triangle has been operating in your in your business and if you're like right I'm done, I'm done with it it's time to let it go and and this is the thing I think it comes up the most for people in, in you know in money in their money story and um you know I've, I do offer extended payment plans from time to time and I've had only three clients in the whole time ghost on their on their payments and so we've got robust systems in place where because I will follow up and I will demand the payment because it's stealing from the company and so I will protect my business. And of course, all of these experiences are a huge part of up leveling as you're growing to that multi six figures, seven figure mark. And there'll be many more opportunities and different experiences and business challenges as part of that up level as we grow towards that seven figure mark and, and beyond. So I share all of that because I'm so grateful for the journey so far and for you know what we are creating in 2023 and recognizing you know the contribution of our team our clients being able to contribute to them and for their up level for 2023 because we truly rise together and I think for me really understanding that you've got the energetics is a key part of the up level 
And within that is experiencing the setbacks and the challenges through your new consciousness so that you continue to grow and to evolve. Does that make sense? Does that resonate? This isn't about, you know, spending hours on energetic rabbit holes of healing all of the things that have gone wrong to have the transformation. This is around clearing and healing the the things that no longer serve you and then having your attention on on the right things because you manifest with your attention so having your attention attention on who you are becoming and embodying and getting really crystal clear on your desires and your vision is absolutely key for for uh, your your next up level and continuing to do that we've we've um, got a great vision of self activation in the akashic records for the winter solstice today so if you haven't grabbed that then um invite you to go and grab that i'll pop the i've got the link here i'll pop it in the comments for you so you can check it out today is a great day to 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 dive into that and i think the key thing to to remember is of course as you're up leveling there are going to be different challenges that happen at different points along the way always in business of course whether it's team launching launches that don't go as planned and and it's the handling of it, fully embodying the version of you that's already done it, creates that energetic resilience that enables you to hold that up level. And this happens when you are, you know, consistently growing, expanding your consciousness. That That's the secret to holding your up level, that having your attention focused on the consciousness of your future self and continually working on your consciousness so you're raising your vibration and, and sending out that congruent message to the universe through, to, through your human Wi-Fi so you're attracting back more of the things that you desire to have and being surrounded by others on the same journey as you has huge manifesting um impact for you because you're in that vibrational vortex of the community all around you in that huge consciousness around you that you're plugged into that all adds to the vibration that you're sending out and aligning your different levels of consciousness so your higher self your conscious mind your subconscious mind so they're all working in the same direction and your higher self is leading the way. And for me, I use the Helix method to embody the, the up-leveled frequency so that my body can hold it. Otherwise, it, like everybody, it will go into withdrawal of the chemical reactions that my body was used to. It will pull me back to my old set point in the most marvellous <laughs> and creative ways. Have you noticed that? Let me know if you you recognise that one. So I do this work myself and I, I teach what, um, you know, how I how I um, transmute and clear things that are no longer holding me back and how I do it for myself and then how I do my manifesting. And I like to share all of that with my with my clients. So if you would, if you're considering the support that you are looking and getting in place for 2023, then um, we've got some things for you. So we've got our free events periodically throughout the year there's a great introduction these are a great introduction to working with me stay tuned for the 9th of january two o'clock gmt we've got our newest masterclass. so hold the date this is specifically for coaches so new coaches and established coaches healers mentors and psychics and your invitation is going to be coming out post christmas so keep your eyes keep your eyes peeled for that one and there are five ways that you can work with me you can break through your money ceiling in the wealth portal so this is for entrepreneurs and coaches who are ready to live that next level uh that next up level and to have all the aligned success at that next up level in 2023 there will be healing energetic blocks and resistances you can break through your money ceiling and manifesting that next level typically people have that breakthrough within 60 days or less so just imagine what 2023 could look like when you break through in the next 60 days so excited for everybody and thank you to Cress who did a shout out about her experience in the in the wealth portal in the group. That was really, really lovely to celebrate with you. Um, and then we have the Infinite Prosperity Collective. So this is my hand selected group of coaches, healers and mentors who are creating extraordinary coaching businesses, growing profitably, being able to grow sustainably towards that six figure and beyond mark. So you want to be able to set you up so you've got reoccurring income, being banked in advanced. You always know what money is coming in and so that you can focus on serving your clients really really well so we've redesigned our ipc program it is our eight month spiritual business mastermind and it's going to it will support you spiritually and strategically in growing your successful business so you can grow it in an energetically aligned way and you'll work with me directly in there and we've got a number of different options so you can either have some more one-to-one -one support um, 
alongside the mastermind or you can just have the pure mastermind um and uh, my support within there and then we have the helix method so this is where we work together for 12 months this is our energetics and manifesting coaching certification again for psychics healers coaches and mentors who want to upgrade their existing practice with the tools and techniques that are going to give your clients rapid transformation and lasting transformation so they can hold their up level so this is for you if you want to be part of the most innovative innovative energetic modality globally i'm so excited so what we've got in store for 2023 and then we have our akashic records record certification program with the soul journeys method so this is our three level training it was held over a three month period we start this one in march where you can learn to read your own akashic records and read for others as well so you can join us for whether you just want to join us for level one which is where you just you know learn to read your own or you can join us for all, th all three levels and uh, learn to read for others and learn some really advanced techniques too i absolutely love love our certification programs and you can also um, reach out to work with me privately so i've got um, a couple of mini packages and also deep containers where i work with um, clients for a full year to support them energetically and strategically for their self-actualization and, and business growth and when i look back at some of the things i've been helping clients with over the last year you know we, we've done some deep stuff from like entity removals embodying future self celebrating highest months highest sales days holding space for them when the personal stuff stuff has just wiped them sideways so they have a soft space to land and then they can continue to show up and lead their communities and helping my seven figure clients hold their money feel worthy of their growth take action on the the things that they um, are desiring to take action on understanding their energetic blueprints so they can feel really good about what they've created and what they are creating so much so much more so if you are looking for that kind of support then just reach out and we can jump on a quick call and i can pop over the options too so you can choose what the one that feels the most aligned for you we've we've also got the juiciest offers for you as we wrap up 2022 so when you join us before the end of december you can join us with 2022 pricing and then we've thrown in some christmas gifts for you as well so just reach out uh, to get the details and we'll get that over to you and i always think it's important you know to make these investments in your next step to be made from a place of feeling empowered a place of expansion and love Am I making this investment from a place of I love myself and I'm taking responsibility for myself and I'm ready to calibrate to that next level? So I invite you to do your due diligence, really tune in. Does this investment feel aligned for you? Am I ready to take full responsibilities for my choices, for my results? And then that's why I love to chat with people personally in message, whether it's on, you know, chatting in DMs or on a quick call. Because if I know I can help you, then I'll invite you to work with me. If I know I can't, I'll refer you to someone who can, or I'll give you some free resources to get you set up so that I can help you. And I do like to give you space to make your decision so you can read through the invitation and then you just circle back and let me know if you're a yes or a no. And I, the reason why I have time sensitive savings and bonuses is just simply to help you be decisive. And then we can agree on a start date that you know is aligned for you. So that's my process. Nice and simple. Um, and for those of you considering on um, stepping into the Wealth Portal and IPC, we start the live calls again the week of the 9th of January. So when you step in now, we'll get you set up for success. We'll give you some immediate, you know, immediate access to the membership site and the bonuses. But your program will officially start that week of the 9th of January. So that in between you bit <laughs> between Christmas and New Year, if you want to dive into the content, then you can. So you get extra time with the content. And the Akashic record activations would be absolutely glorious. Um, so these are in the Wealth Portal and, and in IPC to do between that Christmas period and New Year, really get you set up for success. So just a little hot tip there. Alrighty, just reach out to me in DMs um, if you would like to explore working together and we'll take it from there. I'm around till the 23rd um, of December. And then I won't be picking up my messages again until the 29th. So just to give you a, a heads up on that, we have got the team um, keeping an eye on things on in the uh, client care inbox and also in messenger. So, um, and then they'll bring anything to my attention when I get back on the 29th. Alrighty, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you have a very merry festive period, however you are celebrating and wishing your family peace and prosperity for 2023. Thank you so much for being here, for being you.
follow your soul. It truly knows the way. Lots and lots of love. Take care. Bye-bye.